Hello and welcome to the first episode of Seagrade UK Educational Demonstration. My name is Jin Yiwan and I'm the current chair of Seagrade UK Young Members. Seagrade is a global non-profit organization in the field of energy. Today we are going to demonstrate a really amazing toy called Snap Circuits. Snap Circuits is a toy that allows you to build various projects using electronic parts to learn and demonstrate electricity in action. I have asked help from my friends to demonstrate two projects today. My friend Yin is going to demonstrate the first one. Hello uh, everyone, uh, my name is Yin Xue. I'm currently the secretary and the treasurer of Seagrade UK NGN. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the electricity generation. Uh, so today what we have is I have a hand crank that which is used to generate electricity through mechanical actions. Uh, this is a PV panel. This is a wind generation. These are two LEDs, light emitting diodes. This is a battery. And this one is a voltage and amp meter. So first of all, let's have a look at the conventional synchronous generation. For this one, this one we have, that is a synchronous generator with a gearbox attached. What will happen, so if I rotate the rotor, the mechanical action will be converted into electricity through magnetic reaction which is inside this box. So in order to demonstrate this, I can connect generation to the two LEDs. So what will happen now, if I rotate this in one direction, we can see one of the diodes is on. So now this is what happens is I'm converting my hand movement, which is mechanical energy, into electricity. And that electricity is going through this direction and back forming a closed loop circuit. And when, when we have current flowing through the LED, the diode, it generates light. If I rotate it in a different direction, we can see that the other diode is on. And the reason is because the diode can only conduct current in one direction. So when a current is flowing in this direction, only the yellow light will on. When the current is flowing in the other direction, the red light is on. In the past two decades, there is a huge increase of the use of renewable energy, or we call it green energy. And one of them is solar energy. So that is the solar energy. So what we have here is a solar panel. And this is the two output points of the solar panel, one positive, one negative. So in order to demonstrate the operation, I can connect the output of the solar panel to the two LEDs. The LED, for example, can represent normal lighting of our households. So now there is no light, we're forming a closed loop circuit, but nothing happens. You can see that none of the LED light is on. So what will happen? So now I'm generating a light, which is representing the sunlight. You can see that when the sunlight shines on the PV panel, one of the LED, in this case is the red one, is on. If I remove the sunlight, no sunlight on the PV panel, so we can see there's no electricity flowing. Again, so if I remove the distance between the source of the light and the PV panel, we see the light dims. If the intensity of the light increases, we can see the light becomes brighter. 
So this is what happens uh, during the day when you have a uh, lot of sunshine, you have a lot of electricity. When you have no sunshine or small sunshine, you have no output power in this case, so no electricity. So that is what happens during the evening. We can see that the essence of the PV panel generation is intermittent. So sometimes when we have the sunlight, uh, we have electricity. When there's no light, we don't have any electricity. Now, my friend Johnny is going to demonstrate the second project. Okay, so let's start building project B1, the project B1 super circuit. Okay, now we have finished this bonus project B1 and let's give it a try, okay? So the instruction manual says turn on the light switch S1 to make sound and light. Some of the sound will stop after a few seconds. Tap on the whistle chip. To restart them. Okay, let's give it a try. Vary the amount of light shining on the phototransistor Q4, this one, to adjust the brightness of the red LED D1, which is this one. Okay, so the next one is push the press switch S2 until the motor reaches full speed, then release it. The fan blade should rise and flow through the air like a flying saucer, but careful not to look directly down on the fan blade when it's spinning. If the fan doesn't fly off, then press the switch several times rapidly when it is at full speed. The motor spins faster when the batteries are new. If you don't want the fan to fly off, then reverse the orientation of the motor. Okay, so let's try to press the button. You can see that it's spinning. And let's try to hold it for a longer time. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed these two fun projects. Now I'm going to show you my project. Wait, where is my toy? Oh, I remember. My friends Luke and Alistair are playing with them. This is the end of our demonstration today. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you in the next episode.